Well, good afternoon and welcome to uh, the Pure Energy Healing Academy. Welcome to this, I think, very important moment. And the reason why is because many of us are going through a challenge right now, a real challenge. That challenge is um, the frequency, the vibration, the energy around us at any given moment, whether it's given off other people, whether we give it off as fear and worries and the what ifs, um, the energetic field around us in the in this world um, I'm not going to talk about that because I don't want to get this video knocked off but you understand the technology that's happening uh, and what well maybe you don't understand but the technology creates waves and those waves disturb our antenna and causes great suffering to the physical body in many ways whether it's physical mentally emotional a lot of the times we try to justify why we feel the way we do uh, when in a matter of fact it's um, a very clever manipulation by the, um, the certain people in this world that want to change the frequency and want to keep us ill and dumb. So you might not be watching this now but if you're not there's a reason for it you've switched off and I get that completely. Some people are not ready for this at all and some people just have no understanding so two decades ago, I ended up meeting a, a beautiful shaman who set me on a path of understanding everything by just one action. So I'm going to explain that one action to you. And after I explain this one action, we are going to together do what I call um, a very, very important um, we don't call them rituals anymore because the word ritual has been hijacked. But let's say a uh, a ceremony or let's call it um, something that we should do on a weekly or monthly basis but better still we do it when we listen to our higher self and our higher self tells us when we should do it but what I'm going to share with you is a foolproof a foolproof way of doing it because you will see the signs of doing it and that is called cleansing both mind, body and spirit and your surrounding area wherever you are whether it's a house and this is great for a business great for a business it, your business will improve dramatically as well trust me um, for your home it improves not only the energy in the house but it also improves the energy within you and you feel more balanced um, stronger you live longer um, and I believe that you become more aware and awake of things. So it's generally, I think, from all my practices, from all the things I've done, I believe it's the one thing that's kept me in balance. Now, the reason why I'm making this video today, and I wanna make this perfectly clear, I'm not here to sell anything, but I am here to show you what I use and what I've always used for two decades as a healer. Okay, so everything that I show you isn't a product that I sell because I want to make money. It isn't. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing here and that you can go to your local crystal store. You can go to your local um, health, natural health store and ask for these certain oils, incense and herbs. These things are all Mother Earth gifts and healing properties, which are the real medication. To heal many things in our life so I'm not here to sell anything trust me I'm not trust me I'm not a doctor <laughs> but I am gonna tell you all of the products that I'm using I'm gonna go through them all so you can write it all down and get yourself off to your local store and you can buy it all there so honestly this is from from my heart to yours so I was sat down with the doctor this morning as I do a lot of mornings and the doctor's a beautiful man but he's been um, let's say introduced to something in his body uh, and he's, uh, he's feeling really boosted right you get what I mean and um, it's quite evident now quite frank Frank <laughs> love him but the energetic field is um, not brilliant let's say and it has great effect on me. And that's why as of late, I've been very, very careful 
for who I'm around and how long I'm around for. Sometimes you can't actually stop it because you have to be places and do things. But generally, it's like anything else. I manage my day and if I can get off as quick as I can, I do. So uh, I stayed with um, the doctor for a while and listened to him and we had a chat and all that. So it all felt good. And then I was out of there. But I came back and on my way back, Sorry, while I was sat there, I started getting the signs of this um, disturbance, which does affect our physical, mental and emotional. And my sign is normally a pain. So the pain is my body saying, hey, Mark, get away. This isn't a good energy. So what I did, I got the headache uh, um, and I, I, I had to go. So now I'm here. OK. In my energetic field, there is still the um, negative energy of what people are creating because of what they're doing right now. And I need to get rid of that energy. I need to get rid of uh, that disturbance, that frequency, which is so detrimental to our health and well-being. On so many levels, it's unreal. So I'm going to, first of all, now talk to you about how it all started. And then we're going to go through a workshop together. Everything that I'm going to share with you today is what I do right now. And um, as over the months, my uh, protocol changes. So this is a protocol for you. And if you try it, I promise you, I promise you, it will make a difference. It will make a difference. Now, some people are going to say, oh, I can't do that. Oh, I can't do that. Nothing I can do about that, guys. You can fire away as many questions as you want. But this is how I do it. And I'm not here to change it. I'm not here to say, oh, yeah, try that, do that. I'm here to tell you what I do. So there's no point asking me questions. Oh, can I, can I use a, 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 a lime instead of a lemon? Sorry, guys, this is how I do it. No other way. So if you want to change it, then feel free to do whatever you want. But if you want to know how I do it and how I was taught and how I taught myself through these 20 years of understanding energy and frequency and cleansing, which is the most important thing, most people don't really know how to cleanse. They only partially cleanse. This is a jet wash of cleansing and an amazing way to strengthen you, to strengthen your home business. So please watch and just see how you feel as I go along, okay? So here goes. I was once sat with a, a shaman after a, a long day's healing. And we were look, overlooking the, um, the sea of Malaga. And um, the whole of the, um, the people who came were um, one particular lady who had fallen madly in love with the shaman. And we were sat having a, a tea. And as we were drinking the tea, um, the lady came over and started talking to him. And I, I wasn't really listening because we were kind of far away, but she was sat next to him, being very close to his ear. Then what I, I noticed is that he said something to her and she went down the steps, round and then down into this big garden, huge, huge garden. We were in this massive place, gorgeous. And all of a sudden I saw this lady running around with her shoes and socks off on the grass around some trees. So I started laughing and I says, what's she doing? He said, well, she's just, you know, claimed, she just claimed her own dying love for me. And um, if, I'm, if I'm to even uh, spend time with her, she needs to cleanse herself completely of negative energy. And I said, Oh, you know, I'm thinking, oh, it's because of the grass and, and Mother Earth. Um, that makes sense. And I, and I said, oh, is it because of Mother Earth? And he said, no, look at the trees. And I looked at the trees and there were lemon trees. And she was running around. And I said, what about the lemon trees? And he said, lemons are the only fruit that absorbs negative energy. And that fascinated me. The fact that the woman had run round doing what he said was for me a little sad. And I didn't like what had happened there, but that's another story. But that was, that was the moment, that was the conversation that got me started on lemons. 
So, I'll explain about lemons like I have done in my previous videos. But a lemon, a natural lemon that comes off a tree, free from uh, plastic coating as they put on modern day uh, lemons now and uh, Monsanton lemons. I'm talking about natural lemons like outside here. We've got three lemon trees and they're natural. So I take the lemons and free from any artificial man-made poisons on it or in it and I place the lemons all over the academy and I thought if this is real then what will happen is that if the lemon does absorb negative energy let's see so I put them around the academy I actually put them under my pillow when I was sleeping and there was one particular room where some really heavy work was being done with clients and within two days all the lemons that I put all over the house the only place the lemons went off and had this greeny um, toxic stuff all over it was where the heavy work was being done and underneath my pillow at the side of my bed and I thought wow this is real so I took all the lemons away threw them all away and I thought as I as I do I'm like this I went and grabbed some more lemons and did the same thing again I did it three times in a row this was two decades ago and the same thing happened all the lemons in the rest of the house were fine but underneath my pillow and in the healing area where I was doing heavy healing work, the lemons would go off. This is no coincidence, I said to myself, and the shaman's right. So, what I presented to the shaman was, did you know that the lemons, when you take the lemons from the tree and put them in the house, they actually go off? And he said, no, I didn't know that. But all I know is that you know, if you're with a, a lemon tree and you're in that energy, it absorbs your negative energy. And uh, and I said, well, it, it's true. And I showed him and he, he said, yeah, it makes sense completely. He wasn't surprised um, because he used that and his mother used to use eggs. So eggs are another way of cleansing negative energy around you. You'll see some shamans getting an egg and moving it around your body and then you crack that egg open it's black these things happen these things are true but so that was basically the start of my understanding of negative energy and how to clear it when you're so busy through a day you the last thing you think about is negative energy because you start to feel bad or drained you don't think about negative energy you try and put the pieces together with other things look at you know so it was a really good thermometer for negative energy. So the first thing I invite you to do today is go and find organic, uh, non-pesticides and no um, wax, what they put around them. Um, again, I don't want to make any suggestions because you, know, you could easily stick them into uh, a tub of water with a, a, a cup full of apple cider vinegar that will uh, maybe I don't know if it will but may clear all that away and then you can use them but these are these are the things that I don't really want to talk about because then we're going into uh, details and silly things I just want to share with you what I do okay so I invite you to go and get 10 15 lemons and put them all over the house everywhere and just see at any given moment through the day, one day, two day, three day, four day, if the house is of good energy, if it's underneath your pillow and it's of good energy, then the lemon will stay like this and then start to mature. Now imagine something going um, dry. So this is gonna dry up inside and it's gonna start going from yellow to a kind of darker color of yellow. So it goes darker and darker. And eventually, that darkness will 
will end up like this if your room is of good energy. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten years old. Okay, so they shrink, of course they do. Right? Uh, I had one of them where you could hear the, the pips, but I gave that away to somebody as a gift. But yeah, this is just some of them. I have them all over. So from, from this, it will turn to this. Okay? Okay. So if the property that you're in and the room that you're in, if you look at the lemon and all of a sudden you start to see it going off, that is an indication in my world that, okay, you might say, oh, well, it could be this, it could be that. But I say, well, I take no chances. This I use as my thermometer. Whether you believe it's right or wrong doesn't matter to me. I know it works for me and I have been saved so many times from sadness, depression, anger, knee jerking when I've done what I'm about to show you now. So it works for me. I'm not gonna say it works for you, but it works for me. You can try it and see what happens. So once this room has an indicator of a lemon that has gone moldy, okay, and just for a reference, don't touch the mold, it's toxic. Throw the lemon away by way of uh, digging a hole, putting it into the ground or putting it in uh, the trash and that's it. Whatever you do, don't use the lemons, any of them, whether they are of uh, healthy or, or quite, just, just throw, put them into Mother Earth, that's the best place. I put them into Mother Earth to give back. I don't eat them. Okay, oh, it's good energy, I'll eat them. No, don't eat them because they do absorb energy. So, you know, don't just don't bother eating any of them. Be safe, right? So, these are only suggestions. Once you decide that, okay, that lemon's a little bit off, it's time to cleanse. Now, here's my suggestion. On any cleansing time, if you have time, if you have time on your hands, what I'm gonna show you now is ultimately a most amazing, and I believe most powerful way to cleanse and heal yourself. And within half an hour, you'll understand why. So the first thing we're gonna do, now that our room needs cleansing because the lemon is off, is this. So here's how I start. This is sage. Sage can be bought in many ways. Different colored sage, white sage. This is sage from the Alpujarra, Spain. Any sage is perfect, as long as it's from the sage family, okay? <clears throat> now, you might say, oh, I've got some sage sticks. And I would say, that's great. However, if you sage with sage sticks, you will not get what I get by way of what I'm about to show you. You will only partly cleanse, but this is about the jet wash cleanse. So follow me here and give it a try. So, Sage, uh, we need, hang on, let me go and grab it. Okay, thank you. So we need a bowl. The bowl, I would suggest, everything that I'm suggesting, just give it a go. Just don't ask me, can I try this? Can I do this? Can I use that? Just follow this and just do it this way. Stop asking about other stuff. Just do it this way. If you just do it this way, you'll find everything is great. All right. So remember, I've done everything. I've used different bowls. I've used shells. I've used glass. I've used uh, pottery. This is, this is the way, trust me. <laughs> trust me, it works. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> trust me, I'm not a doctor. So, a nice 
solid uh, hardwood wood bowl. This size is perfect. I used to use smaller sizes, but this size is perfect. The reason why is because when you're blowing into here, you get the air circulating. So it, 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 it's easier to set on fire. Uh, when I say set on fire, it means that the cinders are gonna burn and it's not gonna blow out loads of fire everywhere. Uh, it's just gonna be cindering and easier to cinder it when you're blowing. If you have a smaller bowl, when you blow, it's more challenging. So a bowl this size, look at the size of my hands. It's actually touching all sides. So if you go and find a bowl and you spread your hands out and you can spread it perfectly, then that's a great size in my humble opinion. Okay, so I would take about a quarter to half of this depending on if I'm doing a full house. So today I'm doing a full house, okay? But I'm only gonna show you partly of it and explain what I go through. But this is how I do it, pour in here. So if you have your sage sticks, break them up into this and I'll explain why. Okay, break them into this. Now, I also have Paolo Santo sticks, which are phenomenally fantastic for many reasons. One of them, and you will know Paolo Santo sticks as a piece of wood. However, the challenge with this wood, as I found many years ago, is that it doesn't burn very well and you have to keep lighting it and you get very little smoke from it. But a beautiful family in Peru created these for me. And these are specially made because this burns really easy. Okay, beautiful. Take a little bit off here, okay? and then break it up, if you can, into your fingers like this, and then put it inside and all over the sage, but just in one place, okay, like that, okay? The reason why is because now when I'm about to set it alight and you need a lighter with an extension because you don't want to burn your fingers with a little lighter, it's not gonna work, okay? So go and invest in one of these and the wooden bowl. If you look at the wooden bowl, look how thick it is. Look at my fingernail. It's about the width of my fingernail, okay? The bowl won't burn, trust me, it won't burn. It will go dark, but it won't set on fire, okay? So here we go. And the reason why that's there is because it's gonna burn easier. If you don't have my sticks, then it's gonna take a little bit longer to burn it so you're gonna to have to bear with it you're gonna to have to keep doing that and keep blowing and the secret is to blow it so that the cinders all burn together and then there's more cinders more cinders and that's when the smoke starts to come so here we go so needed a cleanse today And if you haven't got the um, Paolo Santo sticks, then don't worry so much. Just keep going with it, okay? Of course I'm blowing. Now we've got it really going, we're gonna start on the body. Start from the feet and work upwards. So bend down and blow. You are cleansing yourself to begin with. Be careful that the, it doesn't flame up and get uh, the flames don't burn you. If it flames up, then blow the flame out. If it flames up, it means you really need cleansing in that room and that place.
There, it's flamed up. As it flames, blow out. There you go. Always keep an eye on this. After you've done this all over your body for about three minutes, that's your body cleansed. Now is the time to cleanse the rest of the house and the room. Sometimes you might just want to cleanse yourself. That's it, finished. You've done the good job. That's fine. Three, five minutes cleansing on yourself, fine. You might just decide that you want to do one room because all the rest of the rooms are fine. That's okay, so we just do this one room. So, the one room we start by either middle of the room or the corners. And we go around, see? It means that we need cleansing in this room. So this room needs cleansing, or I need cleansing, which I said I already did because I was around somebody who has extremely heavy and... Uh, a detrimental effect on my energetic field so it needs to be cleansed so we start walking around the room make sure all the doors and windows are closed what we are doing this is a sure indication that the room needed cleansing or I did when it sets on fire like that okay so wow really needs cleansing so what we're doing now is we're going round this room, around it. We're going down on our knees, we're going uh, up, we're going sideways, we're going across the room, back and forth. But the secret is to get this room filled with as much smoke as you can. To a point where you can't even see in the room. So every, look at that. So every bit of the room is filled with smoke. Okay. Now I'm going to stop there and leave it at that. I shall continue doing the full house. Now. It's vital when you're doing a full house cleansing that when you do it, all the doors and windows are absolutely shut. Um, at times like this, you could wear a kind of cloth around your face, which I don't recommend. But if it's too much, then do it. Get the dogs, cats out of the way, any animals, get them out, okay, out of the house. And um, like I said, this is how I do it. Some people will say I can't do it because I'm, uh, I'm asthmatic, I can't do it. Well, get somebody else to do it. There's always an answer to this, okay? Pay somebody to do it. Okay, no problem. Ask so a member of family to do it. Okay, so you can clearly see now that the smoke in this room is, there's a bit of smoke, right? It's not as much as it should be. It should be that you can't see me, okay? That's how it should be. So from that room, I will go on to the next room, then the next room, then the next room. I will do the entrance hall, I will do the stairs, I will do little cupboards, I will do wardrobes, I will do everywhere. I'll do the attic, I'll do the, the cellar, I will do the toilet, I will do every single room as a full house cleansing. Or you just do one room, okay? So if one room feels and the rest of the rooms are fine, no problem. So, after you've done this and you are satisfied that there's enough smoke, like you've jet washed that, that beautiful room, you walk out of the house. And you go for a walk for at least one hour. I would recommend between one and two hours, okay? And then you come back. As soon as you come back and you open the door, you leave the door open and then you go to your windows and open all your windows of the house as I am doing now. So all the windows are now open. You can sit outside for five or ten minutes as the fresh air of Mother Earth comes and 
rescues and takes away all the negative energy. Mother Earth handles negative energy, right? But within the sage, within that smoke, there is negative energy. So when you open all the doors and windows, just get out again and just sit outside and let all this negative energy blow out, okay? Within five or 10 or 15 minutes, most of that will be aired out and you'll be fine, okay? That is stage one, part one of cleansing, of the most powerful cleansing of energy from within and outside of you. Okay, so that's number one. Okay, good. Are you getting this? I hope so. Okay, so now that we've cleansed the house and we've cleansed ourselves, yes, we feel better, no doubt about it. We feel better, but we haven't finished yet. We, we've got still a long way to go and it's another process of cleansing in a, in a slightly different way than just the saging. The saging is fantastic. You, you can still do that and, and just walk away from this, but this is what I would do on myself or on a client who was extremely in a bad place in so many ways. This cleansing is for people who are in a bad place. Doesn't matter what, what's wrong with you, whether it's grief, whether you're sick, whether whatever it is, this will conquer everything. I promise it will work and it helps and it helps generate your healing. So thank you very much, Sage, for being a beautiful cleanser of this world. Now, the next thing I would do is I would take um, something to clear my head and just make me feel a little bit better in my head, which normally when you're around people who have great negative energy, you can get this headache and you can feel quite bad. So I use this, which is called Agua de Florida. So I'm gonna go and grab some that's open. Agua de Florida. You can buy it online anywhere. Okay, Agua de Florida. I like the original one, okay? Okay, so take some of this, little bit, like that. Rub it in your hands and then <laughs> breathe through your nose. <coughs> Again. <coughs> Three times, it's fine beautiful it is a cleanser and really really opens you up really opens you up um, the shamans use it uh, and, and I believe in it too some people don't like it but I, I work with it because it's great okay the next thing I would do is use cleansing oil so I would use cleansing oil and this is for a brand new one cleansing oil of mine is Paolo Santo and a mixture of a base oil which is um, it's not almond it's um, come on Mark what's your base oil oh I can't even think I've got I've got grain brain dead it's not nut anyway you take a, I take normally about three drops but now today I'm just gonna get a few more drops okay so it's in my hands and this is where I go. Go to my back and rub. And keep rubbing gently. That is going to clear the energy from your back where we hold negative energy mainly through stress through worries, through attack, through all sorts of things. This is where most shamans suffer from the back. Kidneys, always. So this is Paolo Santo. This is pure Paolo Santo. That's what you need to go and find. Pure, pure Paolo Santo. Okay, so I get mine from Peru. So there you go, pure Paolo Santo. Okay, and if you mix it with a base oil, 
So if you have like maybe, I don't know, five or six drops of this with a base oil, perfect. Okay, brilliant. Yeah, again, I don't want to start going into what the base oils are because there's so many base oils. But, you know, if you have a nut allergy, you're not going to go for an, an almond, are you? You're going to go for another one. So there's so many different ones. All right, good. Now that we've done that, we're now going to go on to water. So now that you're cleansed, now that you've rubbed the oil on your back, you're now going to take your hands and put it over the water and you're going to bless that water and you're going to cleanse and clear yourself. This is a really neat trick. I want you to see yourself as a child. Close your eyes, see yourself as a child and see yourself skipping in your garden, in the park. Okay, just do that. Please just try it, okay? See yourself happy. If you're skipping, you're happy. Now see yourself smiling. And now drink the water. I've just created another oil, which if you don't have, then the oil that you can use, which is fantastic as well, is the uh, awakening oil, which is a pine oil. So a pine oil is fantastic for this as well, but also the purifying oil is fantastic. So you can use the a choice of any of these, see which works for you. An oil of citrus, which is lemon, limes, uh, oranges, any of citrusy uh, grapefruit, mix them together. Rub on your heart, okay? Or you can use yasmin, rub on your heart. Or pine oil, rub on your heart. These are all fantastic. You'll know which one works best for you. Today, I'm feeling like I wanna use the golden heart. So the golden heart now is going to be rubbed on my heart. I'm feeling great already. And that's all you need to do, rub it on your heart. Once that's done, the, the rest of the, um, the oil is in your hands and I want you to breathe this oil through your nose and blow out through your mouth 10 times. So now the final part of the cleansing of your body. We need a certain crystal, a stone of, of out of this world to be able to absorb anything that is within our energy and inside of us, okay? So the most powerful crystal for that is this one here. It's tectite, it's the black tectite. So today I'm going to use, what I normally use, is a handful of tectites. Share the handful like this, okay? And all you do is have some nice music on in the background. This is free on MarkBayerski.com, so, uh, sorry, free on YouTube channel. So type in Mark Bayerski healing music, this will come on. Play this at the same time in your room as you're doing this and you'll feel the energy in the room strengthen and so will you. So now I have the crystals which are all already working in my hand. I can feel the suction going through my body 
into my shoulders and into my arms, elbows and down into the crystals. So literally, there is no need to try and do anything. Just sit there and breathe through the nose and out of the mouth, holding on to your tectites. You could be using uh, a nice one or two of these, which are the balls, the tectite bombs. You can hold on to that as well. But this is equally as wonderful, like this. And just be. Wow. I mean, guys, literally, I feel amazing. I feel like I've just had a massage. I just feel like I've just been on holiday for two weeks and I've got no fear, no worry, no panic, no. This is really, truly the way to move forward in our healing process right now with all the madness in the world. So just let me take a few moments. I can feel the pain in my back going down my arms, which is going, which is the stress and the worry and of the pain of carrying everything at work. It's fabulous. My mind feels lighter. My body feels generated because of that blessed, blessed water, which I just made my feel self feel like a child again. And in this moment, I would stay here as long as I feel I need to with the music playing. And I would enjoy this moment. I could be here for five minutes, 20 minutes, depending on how, I, how much my mind will allow me not to be imprisoned. And that's something that you need to think about. So I would probably be here for half an hour to 20 minutes. Once that's done, these can go in your pocket like this, inside your pockets. They can go around my house, anywhere, but fantastic. And then you gather them again whenever you need to do a cleansing. So you can put them all over the house because they will absorb negative energy through the day as well. So you keep them with you, absorbing negative energy. If they're in your pockets, perfect place because negative energy sits lower down when we're dealing with public and, and what we're talking about today. So when that is done, you will have blessed water. So this is um, Lemon House Sacred Mist. You can uh, create your own um, blend of sacred water and then spray yourself as a final finishing touch. That is a shower. So these are waters from all over the world. There's, I mean, there's over 50 or 100 different places it comes from. So that's what I use. That's it. It's finished. Now, as a final finishing of the inside of your body, I have made, I have created this. And this is a creation by way of attunement. So, not so long ago, I did um, a live in front of people and I closed my eyes and I read I spiritually read and um, some of the things that came up to cleanse our body from what's going on in the world now and people being top uh, you know filled with toxins and sick and ill and how do we protect ourselves what was given to me was four things and I saw sage brilliant I saw a horse's head didn't know what that what was until somebody told me and that's horse tail horse tail I saw dandelion and I also saw the root of burdock so I went out and created all equal amounts inside here so you can go and do that you can go and buy that okay I sell it but you can go and buy it from anywhere okay so just before I started I got this ready which is the tea, we call it sacred tea. That's how much I would put in. Okay. Here's one I made earlier. So. Okay, so this is ready. It's been sat in there for a while. This is the final moment of the cleansing. 
drinking the tea with sage, which is going to clean the inside of you. Horsetail, which strengthens and clears toxins and gets rid of all the nastiness in the body. Dandelion, root of burdock, such a detoxifier, such a cleanser of all the physical. And if this is this this water with the herbs are running around your brain and your stomach, it's going to cleanse and clear all of that worry and fear away and you're going to feel stronger and better so cheers tell you god in a bottle god in a glass that's it guys that's it <laughs> that's it what a great day. What a wonder, what a beautiful little ceremony for me. And it should be for you too. It should be for you too. Give yourself that time. You're worth it. Your body is a temple. If you feel good, you can feel good for everybody else. You can help everybody else. If you're low and feeling bad, what good are you? You're good for nothing. My energe energetic level now is through the roof. I feel amazing. My body feels amazing. I feel 100%. Well, guess what I'm gonna be able to do now? I'm just about to work on some little Maldivites. Love it. I'm, my energy is gonna be pouring into them. The power of them Maldivites when I finish, the power of the Chungites I've got over there, the power of this set that I'm just about to create. I'm just about to create a set like this for you guys. I'm just about to do many things, but with one thing with the most beautiful energy in the world. And that is the secret to why I've done so well in life. Because everything I do, I do with a pure intention and I only do when I'm 100% feeling well. Other than that, I won't do it. I won't deal with crystals, I won't deal with oils, I won't touch the incense to work with, but I will use them. So when I'm not feeling good, I will do all of this and use all of these things to feel good. As soon as I'm good, then I start my work on everything that I sell on mapayeski.com. That is the difference. I won't let any of the staff come into work if they're sick. No, I don't feel too good, Mark. I should come in though. You stay away and you cleanse and you heal yourself. Because if you come into the academy and you're negative, we don't want that energy in there. We want you to be happy and well. So don't worry about it. Take your time, have a day off, have two days off, just relax, no problem. Because to me, I don't want to be cleansing the academy. I want the academy perfect. I want the, 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 the office perfect. So that is vital to my, my products, vital to my health and vital to everybody else's health. Um, I really hope this serves you well. If anybody was to ask me what is the most powerful cleansing in the world, well, I've just given it to you. There's gonna be thousands of questions. You're gonna ask lots of things, but I'll just repeat myself one more time. If you can just trust in what I've just said and give it a go, just work with these, just try it. Stop asking lots of questions, just go and do it. Just go and try it, okay? And then see what happens. It has never let me down in every scenario that I've worked, there's never been a scenario that I've said, oh, this hasn't worked. So whether it's spirit trapped in between two worlds, whether it's people have been fighting for months, years in a house, cleanse clear. Whether it's negative energy because of bad things that have happened there, death and, 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 and all sorts of abuse. Whatever I've done in a house this way, in this exact way, with my clients, there's at the outcome is always mind blowing, heart blowing. It works, guys. I promise you. I wouldn't say it otherwise. So go down to your local store, take this video down, write down what I've said, all the ingredients. I need some of these. I need some sage. I need this. I need that. Write it down and go and buy it. I'm not asking you to go to my website. I am not. We are busy enough. 
okay? We're busy enough, we're busy, 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 but you go and support your local organic store, okay? Support your local health store. And that's what I'd suggest. But just try it, just give it one go. That's all I ask, give it one go for you. So that's my mini workshop today, from my heart to yours. 50 minutes filled with love and 20 years experience of falling and getting back up, falling again, getting back up. You know what, guys? I can honestly say this from the bottom of my heart. If you do this today, you will feel better. Okay, take care. Thank you so much, guys, for going to mattbayeski.com. And thank you, I never say this, for subscribing. Thanks very much. Take care.